Hello, YouTube. Alpha White Wolf bringing you a, another episode of If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device, or rather the reaction to this episode. Now, I am going to try and do at least three in the next uh, hour or so. Get them taken care of, get them made, edited, and put on the channel. Because I really want to get to that seventh episode, because I am very curious about what is the big deal with episode seven. There seems to be a lot of, um, a lot of talk when it comes to new people to this series about that episode, and I'm very curious about it. But, any other, uh, discussions, updates, anything like that, can of course wait until after the reaction. So, all right, it is a go in three, two, one, and play. Actually, I think I have to go now. Stop. You were telling me about this Inquisition thing. Oh. Uh-oh. Hold it, wow. I think that's your regular everyday meal with a thousand sacrifice souls being prepared. I'd better go and check on it. Nothing, my lord. No, nothing at all. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go now. A lot of sacrifices to you. You are not going anywhere until you tell me about the Inquisition. How did you do that? Have you forgotten? I'm the fucking Emperor. I sit around and randomly... I have a feeling he is going to lose his shit. During that presentation, really, what the fuck have you all become? Labor camps and sterilizations? Murder millions over their superstition? Excommunication of actually loyal Astartes? Have thousands of Imperial planets and its valuable assets destroyed because some by fat with barbed wire and accidentally summoned a demon or two? Be painfully hypocritical of mm. and demonic weapon remade in order to carry across my mill? Use techno monkeys. Lord, the Inquisition's works has saved mankind on numerous occasions. Like during the High Fleet Leviathan Crisis, where the Inquisitor known as Cryptman stepped forward. The Tyranids, which he had previously named them, had managed to outlive the Imperium, but thanks to Cryptman, their threat was abolished. He had managed to have a Mangos concoct a poison against the Tyranids, which they then managed to defeat them entirely with. Am I gonna have to start mm. writing a list over things I don't know what the fuck you are talking about because what in the balls are a tyrannid? Hey, right. Yeah, he wouldn't know about that. Still, it was quite wrong of him. And how much did this threat cost to abolish? Um... Oh boy. Well, let's just say he didn't have the luxury to count the cost. Anyway, there was also one time during the first war of Armageddon where the Grey Knights of the Space Wars fight over the demon Primarch. I've seen the Arch Warhammer videos on that. Angron. The fat, stupid ass baby carrier Dread Knight. My inexistent eyes are still sore from seeing that abomination. Yes, but the space wars received great aid from the Grey Knights in their battle. Uh, what do you mean? What happened after the battle had ended? Uh oh. The Space Wolves kind of wanted to save the survivors of the war, but the Inquisition sort of wanted to put them to labor camps and sterilize them and have them die off, which the, um, Space Wolves didn't really like that much, so, uh, <laughs> well, there was a Cold War and the Great Knights betrayed the Space Wolves and some shit happened, but that isn't important. <laughs> Because, well, one time the Grain had stopped a bloodthirst using an ancient, very dangerous technology known as the Blood Tide from destroying a world, and it was truly glorious. And then what? Oh shit, um, they killed a massive amount of innocent sisters of battle and adorned their armor in their blood, but- Just, fucking, stop. This organization, however it came to fucking be, was obviously to concentrate or bring stupidity. And whoever came up with the idea to create in the first place is obviously a fucking idiot. 
They walk around and do whatever they mm. feel like while laughing really snarky at the Plathian communities they see before them, or while having themselves, and all their troops ornate in loads of button shiny shit in skulls to look oh, so emperor worshipping when really they are just creeps in trench coats, and that is all they will ever be. Now, ready yourself, yeah. send this message to the scribes. I want it sent to every corner of the button galaxy. I, the emperor of mankind, hereby make my official decree that all organizations contained within the holy orders of the emperor's inquisition and the adeptus store shall be disbanded and removed from existence. All who work for either or oh. shall return to their sector of birth and work there as a regular citizen once more. All who refuse shall be branded renegades until they have given up their futile strive to conquer the galaxy in the name of their dogmatic religion. Son, the Emperor of Mankind. Yes! I shall go ahead and do that immediately, my lord. That is not going to be well received. This is all fucking nuts. Seriously. Yeah. That is not going to be well received. Wait a moment. What? remember something. Shit, fuck. This can't be for real. Now can't all. The situation? I know this model! Lord Inquisitor Fyodor Kantz. What is it? Do not waste my time. Yeah, I know this one. Um... <laughs> what? This is heresy. Thought so. Is there anything else? Okay. So that was that was really good. That was really good. I recognize that model. Um, for those of you who don't know about it, there's an app that you can find called um, Warhammer Combat Cards. Hmm. And one of the models, one of the cards that you can uh, collect is an Inquisitor Karamazov. I had to... I had to stare at that guy's card for a while to actually get what I feel is a pretty decent pronunciation down. <clears throat> but yeah, I recognize that that model. I recognize it. And it sounded like he said uh, Karamazov or something like that. Which, if that's the case, it's going to be hysterical. But yeah. That reaction, exactly what I imagined. The Inquisition has gotten so used to being in power that they are not going to be happy about someone, even the Emperor, telling them, yeah, you're out. But yeah. Channel updates. So, still working on gathering up some Doom Eternal footage. Right now, I'm in a period where I'm revisiting previous missions, and as it stands right now, I'm one Imperium key away from being able to collect the Unmaker. And I am so looking forward to that. I have the suspicion in Doom Eternal that the Unmaker is basically going to be very much like the BFG. Kind of your get-out-of-jail-free card. And the BFG... I relish being able to use that thing. It is glorious. So glorious. But anyway, still gathering up that. I'm at that point where I finished killing off the Hell Priests and I'm about and the I'm about to go and I guess take on the icon of sin or either try and stop its activation. All I know is that it's that point where Samuel Hayden is telling me, you're not going to come back until you finish your mission. 
So I'm revisiting the previous missions, collecting everything I can, doing everything that's uh, possible to get all these collectibles, all this advantage, trying to hedge my bet, so to speak. So, I'm going to stop this video real quick so that I can roll immediately into recording episode 5. This series is being quite interesting so far. I'm really enjoying it, actually. And I'm getting closer to that 7th episode, and I'm, I'm dying to know what the big deal is. So, without further delay, this has been Alpha White Wolf. I'm signing off. And I've been waiting for over a month to be able to say this. One of the holiest holidays to Star Wars fans. May the 4th be with you. I'm signing off. You keep howling, Wolfpack.